Hello and welcome to the MyVision Express video training on batch claims. We are going to review default setups, suggested workflow, creating and scrubbing claims, submitting paper claims, and finally submitting electronic claims. To start, let's make sure we are set up for success. We want this to run as smoothly as possible, so let's create a default status for generated claims. We're going to go to File, Setup, Categories. We're going to set up the default status for the claims so that they are set for processing. Up in the Find category, we're going to go ahead and type in the word Claims, and we'll be able to find the group Insurance Claim Status. We want the default status to be ready. That way, when we auto-generate our claims, we know that they are ready to go. On a side note, if you have an optical and the opticians submit jobs at the time of the order, for whichever reason, you may want to go ahead at this time and set up a separate category called Submitted Through Website. To set up a new category, we'll go ahead and click Add and type in the appropriate information. And then don't forget to save your work. Once this is done, go ahead and close out of the window. The submitted through website category, which we created, is important to workflow because we do not want these claims to come into our batch. It is important that the opticians who file the jobs update those claims accordingly. Now that we are ready to create the batch, let's go to the Claims module. We're going to go to File, Batch, Claims, Auto-Generate Claims. This is where you will be able to pull up any claims not yet created. What that means is that an order or service has been provided, but the claim is waiting to be submitted to the insurance company for processing. Once we generate the claim, it will be ready for processing in the manner of your choosing. Enter a date range to pull in all outstanding insurance balances. We do recommend making this a daily task so you can stay on top of the insurance flow. If you have a manager for a location in charge of closing out the day, it is recommended that they do this at the end of the shift. If you have a billing department, it may be best to wait and process the next morning. We're going to select the dates in which we want to search. And select the search button. This will bring up all balances without claim within the time period. A list of orders will appear in the box, along with any validation alerts that would come in from incorrect or missing information. The validation alerts will appear on this screen as well as the electronic batch submission screen. If you still do printed claim submission, you will want to scrub your claims here. For the electronic submissions, you can choose to address them now, or you can do it at the electronic batch submission screen. If a validation error does come up for a claim, you can revisit the order and take care of any adjustments by clicking on the ellipsis button on that line. Once you come to the order, you can visit the physical claim by clicking on the claim button at the bottom and making any appropriate adjustments. Go ahead and scan through the claim and look for any red highlighted areas that might need to be filled in. Once you have made the appropriate adjustments, go ahead and save your changes and make sure that you save the order. 
and close. You'll return to our auto generate claim screen and hit the refresh button to reflect the changes on the line. Once you have corrected the claims that needed correcting, you can go ahead and generate the claims by either individually selecting the orders or hit select all and create claims. And yes, we do want to generate claims for the selected orders. Once we were successful, you'll see that the claim numbers appear on the right hand side. And since we set the default to ready, all of these claims have been updated with the status of ready. And we can close the window. Next, we will move on to printed claims. There are still some companies who want a print claim submission. The good news is that these companies are few and can easily be created by filtering the insurance company in the batch for those insurance claims. Let's go to File, Batch, Claims, Print Claims. At this point, a window will appear allowing you to create your batch of printed claims that you can do by insurance company. The date created range is the day that the claims themselves were generated. So since we just said that, we want to go ahead and keep the date created range to today. If you're picking up yesterday's project, obviously you would adjust the dates appropriately. Once we have our information selected, we're going to hit search. This will bring up all the outstanding claims that qualify for that criteria. And you can select them individually, or again, you can select all and hit OK. An update box will appear with all the selected claims, asking you if you want to update the status to printed. You remember we previously had it on ready, but now that we're going to be printing them for submission, we want to change the status. As soon as you're ready, go ahead and select OK. This will default you to the preview window, which will show how your claim will appear on a CMS form. Now you can either choose to do the printing now, or you can save it to print at a later date. Once you are done, go ahead and close out of this window. And now it's time to move on to our electronic batch claims. Since the paper claims are now removed from the ready status, we can easily pull the rest of the claims into a batch for electronic submission. We're going to go to File, Batch, Claims, Electronic Claims. From this window, we'll go ahead and use the claim status of ready in our search criteria. And again, the date created range is the date that you physically created the claim, so we'll keep it on today and select search. Here you will see a better example of the validation errors. Since these are not real patients and there is no real insurance information, every single one of them will pretty well have a message. However, in using real patients and real insurance, you'll be able to easily see what's missing from the claims for you to make the adjustments. From this screen, you can revisit the claim by hitting on the ellipse button on that particular line. Or you can visit the order if it's an order related claim. Occasionally, it will actually be a demographics issue. Maybe the city is missing on the patient's demographics. You can visit the patient by clicking on the patient ellipse button. 
Same rules apply as before. Once you make the appropriate correction on the line item, you're going to hit the refresh button and that will update the entire line. A couple of notes about electronic submission. If you have a red validation error on that claim, it will not be submitted. You may have a caution validation error, which will show up in yellow. Those can be submitted, but just be aware that there is an error that's being detected and you can submit it at your own risk, but it is always best to correct the error first. Select the appropriate claims that you'd like to submit or again, hit select all. When you are ready to submit the claims and they're selected, go ahead and click the ANSI 837 button on the right. It will again bring up a window about updating claim status. Again, none of mine are going through because there are errors on every single claim. But just as you did before, go ahead and update the claim status. At this point, if you have an FTP set up, it will upload directly to your clearinghouse. If you have a folder on your desktop, it will save to that folder and is now ready for upload. And congratulations, you've just successfully created and submitted your batch claims. This concludes our video training on batch claims. Be sure to visit our knowledge base for more helpful tips and videos on our other modules. And thank you again for choosing My Vision Express.